Hi everyone! In this video, we're going to quickly show you how this animation was created in Gaskajur. This Red Panda character is a part of a space switching course and is available for download from Maya and Blender. In order for us to work with it, we exported the FBX and then rigged it in Gaskajur. There will be a dedicated tutorial on how to rig this character on our channel. Now, when animating characters which have additional elements to them, such as the tail or scrolls or ears, as we see here, it's a good idea to set their behavior to FK. This way, you will be able to use autoposing with such characters and avoid those body parts getting deformed. You can also add textures to the model if you want. We used autoposing to get the main poses. And at that point, the tail, the scrolls and ears were just ignored. So the blocking for this animation ended up looking something like this. Then we set the behavior of the tail back to IK and animated it in the keyframes. The next step was using auto physics. It helped quickly achieve a more accurate ballistic trajectory for the jump. However, after snapping our animation to auto physics, we went back and changed the timings for the jump to make it look more stylized. We made it look as if the character sort of slows down in the middle of the jump. For the next physics pass, we turned off physics corrector as we no longer needed it and focused on adding secondary motion. Then we used compensation motion for the tail specifically to give us an idea of what poses the tail could take to balance the character. Then we used secondary motion on top of that and after snapping the animation to auto physics, we went through the keyframes and manually cleaned up some of the poses. For the facial animation, a separate scene was prepared featuring some of the basic emotions. So we could easily copy them using box controllers and then adjust and animate them further in our main scene. This rig was actually made before we introduced blend shapes so if your character has blend shapes, you can import and animate them in Cascajar as well. And finally, we also added a camera. It's always a good idea to split the viewports when animating the camera, to instantly see what you're actually doing. And this is the end result. If you like the animation, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Our Mr. Animator will be very pleased. Also, consider subscribing to the channel to never miss an upload. And thanks for watching.